here Wild Hunters friends welcome back to my channel as you can see this wonderful landscape is uh, South Africa uh, I am here again at the Grace Gift Lodge in Grahamstown hunting with the professional hunter Harry Heinen a old friend of mine and uh, as you can see the veld is very open even if uh, now we are uh, at the end of the summer time and we are going to be in the winter time and uh, it will be very difficult to hunt uh, so I decided to uh, have uh, and to make two different kind of safari at this time the first safari is a conventional one because I will use a bolt action with the scope mounted on uh, this uh, scope is a sight mark uh, latitude 6.2525 times uh, 50 with a PRS reticle, is a ballistic reticle in, uh, uh, in uh, mil dot, is a mil dot based uh, scope. Uh, in the first focal plane, is, a, is an ideal scope for hunting in such territory where the, the I expect to have uh, very long shots. And I will hunt for mainly for kudu, for ostrich, uh, for impala, blesbok, and this kind of stuffs. Uh, this is the main safari I will I will do. I will use uh, a special ammunition uh, with uh, Sierra bullets, Sierra and Ornadi bullet, 139 grains uh, for my seven millimeter Mauser or AK 275 Rigby. Uh, I decided to use uh, this old style uh, uh, chambering because uh, I wanted to hunt with uh, an old friend, a very old friend. Uh, so I decided, and obviously I had to prepare some uh, some uh, special cartridges with uh, my Baschierian Pellagri new BP 108 powder. And uh, I will give you the recipe at the end of this video, obviously. I will use this kind of uh, configuration. And I will also use uh, Contessa detachable mounts because uh, during some days I, I have decided to make some call hunting for jackals, for other critters such as caracals, and ja I mean jackals, caracals and moosepig. So I will use another scope by Yukon, the Yukon Jaeger 39 times 40 uh, for short distance shooting that normally is a 100, 150 meters affair. So I will use another type of scope. And this is, this is possible if you have a special detachable mounts. And I decided to use the Contessa, the Alessandro Contessa detachable mount, the new series with stainless steel insert system. Okay, then I will, uh, I, I will make another special safari, uh, which I call the vintage safari. I want to duplicate or replicate the safari as we, we made 100 years ago. So I will use uh, uh, only the sights, uh, special sights, L LPA sights, um, both the front and rear sight. I will uh, zero the, this, in this configuration at 50 meters and then uh, I will uh, uh, have to move uh, the, the sights at 75 and 100 meters and see what's happened at, what's happened at the shooting range in about uh, one hour I will be at the shooting range so you will see all the preparation of the two conf different configuration of my firearms so on uh, with the, only the sights and with the, with the scope so this is uh, what I want to do um, other other tests will be made uh, um, because uh, for example, in, this, in the vintage con con, uh, configuration, I will use a, another uh, cartridge, another ammunition made, especially made with a 175 grain bullet, which duplicate the, the cartridge that was used uh, at that time, so 100 years ago. Uh, so I, I wanted to make all the things like it was before. So the caliber, the ammunition, and also uh, the, all the stuffs uh, of my of my dress. I mean, my dressing will be 
uh, as uh, it was a long time ago. Uh, for the conventional safari, I will use a, a special uh, jacket and a special pants by Beretta. This is a, sp a special uh, duo, uh, which is called uh, Torn. Torn uh, is it's a special uh, uh, pant and a special jacket that are specially made for resisting the thorn bush and the weighted bit bush and the cactus, which are plentiful here. So I will test also, and I will have also another jacket uh, by Trabaldo. I will use it and I will test it. Uh, it's a special made uh, jacket for this kind of uh, territory. And uh, also I will test uh, uh, two boots, the Lowell GTX and the Country made by Beretta, uh, that I expect to, to test in this uh, very heavy uh, territory, so a um, lot of rocks, uh, um, thorn bush, weighted beads. So I will I will give it a try with uh, this kind of stuff. I I will uh, have also another product, uh, special sunglasses by Baschieri and Pellagri. I will uh, test uh, also this kind of uh, of stuff. I will uh, I will show you later at the shooting range uh, this kind of, of sunglasses that are specially made. Uh, for protecting your eyes, not only for the, the thorn bush and the weight a bit and also the, the stuffs, but also from the sun and to uh, let you see uh, through the bush uh, with special lenses. So you, you expect to, to see uh, some, something, something also something more because uh, the, the, when you are in the thick bush, if you have a special lenses that uh, take out all the reflections of the sun in the leaves, you can see more out, outside and inside the bush. So I, I will test also these uh, special sunglasses, okay? Now it's time to go to the shooting range and uh, to zeroing our, uh, our firearm uh, in the two different configuration, and then we will go hunting with the Henry Einen in the bush and in the bed. See you very soon. Okay, let me explain you what I want to do. First of all, I want to zero this uh, firearm with uh, the sight. Okay, this is a special LPA sight, as I mentioned it before. I have pre-zeroed at 50 meters in Italy with uh, 139 grains uh, ammunition. But I will use here a 175 uh, uh, grains, so I expect to have uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, I, I will. I think I will be a little bit high. I will use this uh, target at 50 meters. Once uh, I have zeroed at 50 meters, I will move the sight at 100, and then I will use uh, this uh, uh, target at 100 meters. Uh, normally, I aim at the base. Of the of the target, because I love to have the the point of impact just uh, on the top uh, of my uh, uh, front sight. This is uh, what I, I'm I'm going to do. After all, uh, after this uh, zeroing of the sights, I will pass to another shooting range, and uh, I will uh, shoot with the scope mounted on, mounted on at 100 meter, the the the, the standard cross. And then our, that that uh, uh, reticle is a mill dot, so I will shoot uh, at 200 and 300 meters, uh, and I will show you uh, how many dots it will be uh, the, the the curve of the of the ammunition because I'm going to use a 139 grain ammunition. Here I have the 175. Okay, now let's start uh, shooting. Okay, let's start with the 175 grains at 50 meters. Wow! Low and left. Low and left. E basso a sinistra. Okay. Okay, the the shot has been is, is, is down and on the left. Then I have made another shot and I was perfectly online, but still too low. 
Uh, this is uh, the second the second shot I have taken with the stacker on because during the pre-zeroing I, I have used the stacker and this is the demonstration of, uh, that uh, if you shoot with the stacker on or you shoot without it so on the on direct there is a, a, a different on on the windage so now I will shoot again I have uh, moved uh, my front uh, my front sight of seven clicks. Now I will shoot with the stacker and see uh, we, if I, I am dead on or not. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's see. The result of the shot. Oh, vediamo un po' come è andata. Okay, now I'm 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 dead on but I'm still a little bit on the left. So I will, I will shoot another shot just to see where I am. Okay, now I will shoot the four, my fourth cartridge. I will insist to shoot with the, uh, the normal system. I do not want to shoot with the stacker uh, with the sights because it's not the way to go. With the stacker I will shoot with the scope. But anyway, I will I will uh, try to be dead on now with the direct stuff. Oh. Okay. Okay, the most difficult part of zeroing uh, at 50 meters with uh, these sights was to understand first uh, at each click how much portion of the target was covered. So uh, after six shots I have understood that every click, one click is just from here to here. So the last shot was here, okay, now I gave a click lower in order to, to be most more or less here, just a little bit high. Why? Because when it, it, on hunting you are shooting from a stick, not from a rest. So I know for experience, by experience, that uh, you are shooting low, a little bit low. So I, I, I stayed more or less here in order to have to compensate. Uh, the different uh, uh, way of shooting between hunting and, uh, and arresting there. Now, I will move now from 50 meters to 100 meters my side, my uh, rear side, and we will move this target at 100 meters just to know if I am okay, because I, I'm, I know for sure that uh, hunting in this field with uh, the sights it will be very difficult to stay at uh, less than 100 meters from the animal. Is, uh, stalking animals in the world is not uh, easy, it's not so easy. And normally the shooting, the average shooting is 100 meters. The most difficult part now of shooting at 100 meters with the, with the sights is to stay inside the black, the bullseye. Uh, it reproduces more or less the vital area of, a, of an impala, so a medium-sized animal here in South Africa. Okay, let's try. Move it to under. Okay. It's, it's a good shot, you're sitting here. Okay. Uh, sul bordo, sembra sul bordo del nero. Okay, let's, uh, uh, qui sta andando. Okay. 
Ora sparo con il cursore. Now I'm I, I go, I'm going to shoot with the with the right uh, okay. at 100 meters. Okay. Let's see we, which is the difference. Yeah. Eh, non si vede, quindi è, proba è probabile che sei sul nero. So much above the center, 100%. So it's sitting more or less here. Oh, is that here? Oh, yeah. It's, oh, it's sitting just here. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, the first shot I have taken with the 50 meters okay, range on this uh, side. And the second one I, I have taken with the 100, so the regular, the regular uh, regulation on this side. Now I want to show you uh, the target, so we will decide together if I have to use the 50 meters of the or the 100 meter regulation here. The, the question is that uh, with this caliber and with this ammunition, which is uh, low and, and heavy, you have to choose, you have to find a compromise. It is obvious because uh, uh, this kind of site of LPA sites has been regulated with the uh, the 308 Winchester in mind, which is, is uh, the average caliber uh, on which to build this kind of... of. So, with, with uh, uh, faster ammunition or, or faster caliber or lowest, lower caliber, you have to find a compromise. Okay, now I'm going to show you with the Harry and, pa and Paolo the target and we will decide together what is the best for us to go. Okay, the most difficult part of zeroing uh, at 50 meters with uh, these sights was to understand first uh, at each click how much portion of the target was covered. So, uh, after six shots I have understood that every click, one click is just from here to here. So the last shot was here, okay, now I gave a click lower in order to, to be most, more or less here, just a little bit high. Why? Because when it, on hunting you are shooting from a stick, not from a rest. So I know for experience, by experience, that you are shooting low, a little bit low. So I, I, I stayed more or less here in order to have to compensate uh, the different uh, uh, way of shooting between hunting and, uh, and arresting there. Now, I will move now from 50 meters to 100 meters my side, my uh, rear side, and we will move this target at 100 meters just to know if I am okay, because I, I'm, I know for sure that uh, hunting in this field with uh, the sights, it will be very difficult to stay at uh, less than 100 meters from the animal. Is, uh, stalking animals in the veld is not uh, easy, it's not so easy. And normally the shooting, the average shooting is 100 meters. So we will see. Okay, now we are, I, I'm going to shoot at one. Hai spostato la mira davanti? No. Ok, after having taken the decision to use the 75 meters regulation on this uh, LPA site, together with, uh, with Harry we decided to give one shot just to be sure that uh, our decision was the right one. Look at here, you see? I have aimed here and uh, is just half an inch uh, higher. So for me and for what is uh, Harry, Einen is perfect like this. It is necessary that the hunter and the professional hunter are uh, uh, agree, agree on, on, on these things because uh, we want to uh, avoid any, uh, any trouble on hunting, okay? So we are sure that I'm, I'm, I'm shooting in the right way, okay? So if I miss or if I wound, it's just my fault. It's not the fault 
of uh, something wrong in the rifle okay so this this uh, kind of approach is the right one because you avoid many troubles on the hunting field okay okay now is the turn of our sight mark latitude the scope this is a 6.25 25 times 56 uh, first of all, in, in, being at the, in the first focal plane, the reticle, I will uh, uh, use uh, uh, the, the scope for my zeroing uh, at the 12 enlargement. Okay, I will use at 12, which is a medium, a medium uh, regulation, uh, at least for what I, it concerns my, my type of hunting. Okay, I will zero the, the central crosshair at 100 meters. Then I have the ballistic table here that say that at 200 meters I will be one mil. I have to compensate one, one mil. One mil and a half at 250 meters, two mils at 300 meters, 2.5 at 350 meters, and 3.5 at 400 meters, at four, 450, I will have a 4.5 mils, and at 500 meters, which is the maximum, is 5.5 mils. Obviously, I will never shoot uh, uh, over four, 400 meters because this caliber is not made, it wasn't made and, and still is not made for shooting uh, at long, very long distances. So with a 139 grains uh, boat tail uh, soft point uh, bullet that we have uh, recharged uh, with, uh, with the Baschieri and Pellagri BP-108 uh, new powder, uh, I do not want to shoot uh, very, very long, at very long distance. So you don't have enough uh, energy or enough uh, uh, enough uh, weight of bullet uh, to strike on very big animals so I, I need to be uh, prudent in this in this case you don't have to mess everything uh, up and down because uh, I want I have uh, the maximum respect for the animals so I will stay in the in, the, in, the, in inside the 400 meters I will use also this uh, Pascheri and Pellagri sunglasses because now it's very hot, uh, there is uh, some uh, uh, fade, so I will need uh, some uh, sunglasses to, to shoot, okay? And uh, now Harry has put uh, the, the targets at 100, 200 and 300 meters, and we start up uh, with our zeroing operation. Okay, now I'm going to start at 100 meter. I will use always the stacker, okay, because I'm accustomed to, to shoot with the stacker, okay? Let's go. Is, uh, I think is a little bit high on the left. Yeah. Okay. Hai okay. staccato ora o no, sempre attaccato? Eh? È sempre attaccato. Okay. Let's go with the second shot.
the bull in the bottom. Okay. Uh, the the bullet is just a little bit is is perfect for the windage, but is a bit a little bit too low. So I had to rise a little bit, but for what it concerns, left and right, I'm okay. Okay, now we are going to shoot at 200 meters. Okay, adesso è venuta l'ora di sparare a 200 metri. Looks like you hit it on the bottom side of the bull. At, the, at the left? In the left? Yeah. Allora, anche a 200 metri siamo, siamo, siamo dentro. I saw Sparrow un altro po'. Uh, I take another shot at 200 meters. Just to, just to. Eventually we can go there and see, eh? Or, or we can go at 100 meters and, and see if he's inside or not. I think uh, I have shot a little bit on the left, but uh, this is uh, just an impression. It's on the bullet, break those, it break the plastic so it's, it's, in, it's inside. inside. Perfect. Uh. Okay, at 200 meters it's perfect, but now we have to, I think it's, it's better for me to, to have another shot at, three, at 200, just, just to be sure. Li, uh, do you see the two, the two bullet or not? Second bullet, it, it broke the whole plastic, so it must be almost near the center. Okay. Because it okay. cracked the This, eh? <laughs> destroy it. <laughs> destroyed it the ok <laughs> ho distrutto adesso comunque andiamo a dare un'occhiata andiamo a 100 metri e diamo un'occhiata a 200 cosa è successo now we go at uh, 100 meters just to, to see at 200 meters how, is, how everything worked and we will uh, pass then at 300 meters we want to be sure before passing at 300 meters we have to be sure that everything is ok ok this was the first shot uh, it's high on the left, and this is normal because I have pre-zeroed uh, this uh, this rifle with a different ammunition. It was a 139, but round the nose, a Cellier and below. So, it, so I give all the clicks, uh, the necessary clicks, but I gave too much because the second shot went here. So I gave other three clicks up in order to be dead on. Now we, we go to 200 meters. Okay, the target has been completely destroyed. This is the shoot and see, the, the central part of the shoot and see. Okay, the, the last shot, the third shot, went exactly in the mush, okay, which, is, which has a, a, red, a red dot, okay, and the red dot is completely destroyed. This shot, the third shot, was taken with the, the first, uh, the first uh, uh, regulation of the mill dot, the first dot. Okay, the first and the second shot, I, 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 take it, I have taken with the 100, the, the 100 meters regulation, okay? So that with the central crosshair, why I did it so? Because I wanted to verify if uh, my ballistic table is right or wrong. So I shot with the 100 regulation 
at 200 meters and it was a little bit, bit da uh, low, more or less three centimeters low. That was perfect because it's, it's what the, the ballistic table was saying. So having been comforted by this, okay, I, I take the aim with the, the first mill dot right in the center and it was spotted real oh, oh, in the bullseye. So perfect on the mush. So now I will uh, shoot at 300 meters with the, the second dot which is a line, uh, are not, uh, is based on the mill dot, but it doesn't have the scope, uh, the PRS reticle doesn't have the dots, uh, it has some s small lines, very fine uh, lines. So, with the second one, I will shoot at 300 meters, so we will uh, verify. Ob obviously, I have a, sh a shoot and see, very big, so we will be able to see exactly where the, our bullet uh, will strike. Okay, let's go at 300 meters now. Okay, now is the turn, 300 meters. Uh, I will use the second uh, line above the central crosshair and uh, we'll see what's happening, huh? okay? Okay, the gong said that I have hit uh, the, at least the vital area. I don't know exactly where, but I, I can use the 25 enlargement just in order to see where the bullet strike. Let me, let me see if I can see a 25, if I can see where I have hit. Okay. See a grey spot about an inch below your black um, bullseye. You can almost see like the grey of the bullet where it's sitting. I think so. It's perfectly on uh, right and left, but it's a little bit low. About an inch low, yeah. An inch low b uh, above uh, the, the the red, yeah. because it's black with a, a red yeah. inside. So you think that it's a little bit below the red? No, below the black. Ah, below the black. I think so, yeah. Uh, you think so? It looks like it. it's on the metal, on the gong, but below. You see, yeah? understand what but I think I should go there because uh, otherwise I don't I don't feel if I am too high or too low okay I have taken three shots uh, the first uh, two of them went I inside the gong one is high and one is low so now I will shoot again two shots one and uh, with the one and a half uh, dot mil dot in order to verify if uh, is the right one, is the right one. And then I will shoot again with the, the two, the two marks, the two, the, the second dots. And we will see which one of the, of the zeroing uh, application is the right one for us. I was too high. Too high, yeah. I could see that on that second last shot, it was hitting the target top right. Top right, eh? Uh, so you think I'm, 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 I'm too low, I'm too high again? And now yet. it looks fine again. Now that you set it a bit. 
Okay, now we are dead on also at 300 meters. I had to give four clicks down and I knew this because uh, we had always to find uh, a, a little compromise because the ballistic calculator that I have used is a federal premium. It is based upon 66 centimeter of barrel, which is impossible in some calibers, especially in the seven millimeter mouse. I have a 56 centimeter barrel on my, on my rifle. So I knew that uh, between zero and 200 meters, it's okay. But when you, you start uh, uh, reaching the 300 meters mark, you're gonna have some compromise too. In this case, I was high, and this is normal because I lose velocity and, uh, and the bullet is a, bit, uh, is a little bit high. So I, give, uh, I gave uh, four clicks down and I, I was on. Now, uh, probably I will be a little bit uh, uh, lower, uh, a little bit low at 100 and 200 meters, but at those distances, it's very easy to compensate. It's not easy to compensate at 300 or 400 meters. So I prefer to compensate a little bit at 100 and 200 meters and to be dead on at 300 and 400 meters. So now I'm okay, I'm confident with, uh, with, uh, with my rifle, with the scope or without the scope or with the sights, I'm okay. Okay, dear friends of Wild Hunters, we are ready to rumble the first afternoon. We have taken some rest after having uh, zeroed the, the, my rifle in the morning. So now we are going to hunt in a very open area where we expected to find some kudu, some waterbuck, some warthog, and uh, some bush pig and bushbuck. Then, when uh, the darkness will came, we will uh, hunt for jackal and caracal for some culling with some special torch light that I have taken from home and uh, is a special torch light that resembles the, the moon wave light so uh, it doesn't disturb too much the, the critters so we will hunt uh, for them in the, in the night. Okay, let's start hunting, ready to rumble. We have seen two warthogs over there, so now we are going to stop them. Uh, Harry, we were we were we were just uh, starting our uh, night hunting for critters and for varmint, and then we had uh, some a uh, beautiful opportunity. Yes, a common reed buck bumped out in front of us, and two excellent shots. First shot a little bit low, but right on the shoulder, and the second shot he went straight down. Yeah, I, I yeah I I decided to to to, to take a second shot because. Uh, the animal, I, I didn't know where exactly I, I have taken it. It was, uh, it was low, a little bit low. I, I know that he, he was in difficulties, but you never know. When, uh, when it's dark, know. you need to stop the animal Make on sure. its track. Yeah. And uh, the trophy is a good trophy. Beautiful, very heavy, thick horns, good length, old, old buck, very nice.
beautiful animal. Now they, uh, we, we have hunted uh, during the afternoon and uh, we, we have seen very few animals because it's too hot. They, they tend to be a little bit... Uh, More active night. at night. Yeah. 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 No, it was hot and tomorrow is going to be the same thing and the animals feel it, they know it. Yeah, so. it's, a, it's a drama for me because uh, I cannot take uh, any video sh sh uh, at, at the shooting. But anyway, we, we do what, what we can do. Yeah. <laughs> no, tomorrow is another day. We'll yeah, yeah, day yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, we started uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the right uh, foot, uh, as we, we say it in Italy. And uh, I must say that uh, I was very impressed by, by this scope because uh, I, lower, uh, I lowered it at 6 and uh, it was very, even if it was very dark, I was able to, to aim and shoot so the lenses are very clear even uh, in dark situation. And this is what uh, you want uh, when you go, on, you, you go hunting in a, in a different situation for for uh, for which the the the, the scope was uh, was uh, was made for i mean for long long shooting during daylight yeah. but uh, but uh, if you if you have good lenses you can shoot also in dark situation so uh, i'm also satisfied with the, with the bullet it makes uh, it, it has done his uh, his own uh, his own work okay let's let's proceed the test okay ciao This is the first jackal we have caught tonight and it was not really a difficult shot because uh, it was at 120 meters more or less but uh, I, I have seen a, a, a little portion of the animal so I, I, the, the, the question is that uh, I didn't have a, a, a rest because the, the shooting was very high, the, the animal was very high so I have to take my shot uh, uh, with just my hands uh, without any rest but anyway I did uh, a good job and that's it we let's uh, continue the adventure we will see if we can get a, a bush pig or some other jack here well done their friends uh, welcome uh, to the channel let me explain you uh, the day zero what I consider the day zero of a safari uh, I have dedicated uh, the morning to the correct zeroing of the scope and the sights. Uh, I had uh, to find, I have to find very little compromise. Uh, this is something normal, uh, especially with the sights. But everything went fine. Then we, we went out hunting during the afternoon and it was very, very hot over 40 centigrade degrees so very few animals around and uh, we I had only two I had uh, only two opportunities very uh, around uh, 6 6 30 in the afternoon so with practically no light in very difficult light condition so it, it, it wasn't impossible to take footage of the two shots but everything went fine I I was able to take a, to have a common read book a gold medal one I will mount it here in the lodge because it it, it, it is and it was the only species that, that they don't have in the in the trophy room here so I'm very proud to be the first hang, the first hunter uh, that made this uh, this dream come true and then I took a jackal. Uh, all the three shots I have got uh, went in the in the right spot where I where I have aimed. So I'm very satisfied about the zeroing, and uh, it will I will have more confidence with my rifle for, for tomorrow when I will uh, go hunting for kudu. Okay, see you tomorrow at the Grace Gift Lodge.